today is a really special day. Um, yeah, it's the 4th of July, but today is also the day that one of my best friends and co-founder and, and co-creator of Lightning Studio, the content creating platform at Goldie Beacom, my good friend, brother, roommate, Lorenzo Gamma moves back to Rio today. This was the song playing when Lorenzo had the idea of naming it Lightning Studio, but at first he said Studio Lightning, kind of like Radio Gaga, Studio Lightning. And I remember just sitting in our living room when he said it and was like, that's perfect, you know, because we're Goldie Beacom College and our mascot is a lightning bolt, so Goldie Beacom Lightning and Lightning Studio, and it's perfect, it fit, and it's stuck ever since. And I really believe that it's something that is gonna always be with Goldie Beacom forever. It all started almost a year ago, August 7th. I went up and visited Goldie Beacom. Lorenzo was living there over the summer. He was working, he was preparing for his senior year soccer season. He was thinking of ideas we could do for our video production club. This was before it was called Lightning Studio. And he was playing music. And uh, we, we hung out, we met up with Jeremy and talked about the plans to live stream the soccer games, the first time the school has ever done that. And then when we were chilling at the apartment, he showed me how good he was at guitar. No, let me show you this one. This is a fucking nice song. Man. And from that moment, watching him play the guitar there in that room before everything had started, I knew that something special was going to come from this year, but I had no idea it was going to be this special and what it ended up being. So we moved in in August, their preseason for soccer. And I was filming a lot of the athletic teams because I was getting ready and, and trying to really push this Lightning Studio thing we were starting. And uh, he invited me to be the manager of the soccer team, and I didn't really know what that was going to entail. I uh, had plans to li help live stream their soccer games anyways. Being the manager of the soccer team, I ended up following them around with a camera and sharing their story. I decided I'm gonna do a documentary for the soccer team. All right, so, <laughs> so yeah, that's how that. That's really cool. Yeah. So basically, Lorenzo welcomed me into this family. <laughs> this family of, of people from all across the world who I can't, I can't even put in words and I'm not even gonna try right here. I, I, it's this, it's this thing, believe. It's this documentary. This documentary came from it and it's the only way that I can explain it. Like, I'm forever grateful to him and to all of those guys, to Declan, to Cam, to Alvaro, to Arthur, to Shaheen, to Levi, to Guy, to, to Joe Trainer, to everyone a part of that team, to the coach that invited me on there and welcomed me into this family. So from there, that happened. Believe happened. So after Believe and the live streaming that we did and all the videos that we did in the fall, kind of the welcome weekend stuff and, and the stuff like that, uh, it was winter break and we were getting ready for the spring semester. Um, and I was working on a show, which is now becoming golden, uh, episode six coming soon. Um, and Lorenzo was working on this awesome project called Pike Creek Sessions. Yeah, my dad always put a guitar in my hands. So I'm like six or seven, but I only got into it when I was like, nine or ten guitar is just my main thing and, and writing music and try to sing a little bit not not as good as the other guys that sing in pie creek but i love it i love music i don't know i've, I've always loved uh, trying to find like an acoustic way to play everything because you can't always have a whole band behind you you can't always like arrange uh to meet other musicians to play like a full set song you know and and sometimes just a guitar a couple voices i always wanted more people engaged with music here so I'm a senior now and people have jobs and other other stuff that they have to like compromise to be here, which is a good thing, you know, because every time that we have a rehearsal or a session, like people want to be here and do it. So there's a whole passion with it. And uh, I met am amazing people such as Jonathan Tashira. I literally just brought an old friend of mine, Kwame, to do one episode. That was awesome. He used to play soccer here. So it's good to get like people from different backgrounds and people that probably I wouldn't have never met if it wasn't for Pike Creek, so it's good, you know, it's, it's brought a lot of people together and it's been fun doing it and hopefully we can get more episodes up very soon. So when Lorenzo and I were first talking about Lightning Studio and what, it, what we wanted it to be and why we started it, we wanted it to be a platform 
for people to come together, make a difference in each other's lives, create things that might just make a difference in the community. And Pike Creek Sessions is a perfect example of that. These people coming together to rearrange songs in their own creative way and perform them and take that risk and get in front of the camera and sing and together. I remember that dream like candlelight, like a dream that you can't quite place. But Alexander, I'll never forget the first time I saw your face. I love it. I, I spent a lot of time helping them and filming with them and it was always it always gave me chills and it always it always made me feel again part of something bigger than myself. <laughs> Dude, you fucking kill it, bro. <laughs> I fucked up a couple parts. Oh my god. How I long have you been doing man. this? And I think at the very core, that's what we wanted to do with Lightning Studio. We wanted to create something that was bigger than us and lasted longer than us. So, Lorenzo, I got a million things to say. And uh, I've said goodbye twice, even though... I know it's not goodbye, I know I'm gonna see you again one day. Um, and I could say a million more things, but right here, right now, I just wanna tell you that I love you, man, and that I appreciate absolutely everything that you've done for me, and everything that you've done for Lightning Studio, and everything you've done for that school that we go to, and our friends, and inviting me to be a part of the soccer team's journey, and you know, assisting you with Pike Creek Sessions. I mean, those are memories that will forever live in my heart and will forever be so important to me that, you know, <laughs> look, man, you've made such an incredible difference in my life and in Lightning Studio and at school that I can't imagine what you're gonna do next, man. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to be your friend. I'm so proud to have co-founded Lightning Studio with you. And I can't wait to see what you do next, brother. This is so nice, man. It's, it's gonna, gonna be perfect. perfect. A little bit closer, right? We could do, cause we could do both videos. We could work both uh -huh. videos in. We could just do... change angles, like regular interviews like they do, yeah. It's funny how like it just takes a little bit of time, you know, yeah, like day yeah. by day, and then you end up with a setup, and then soon we'll have some people in here. Oh man, fuck man, this is. <laughs> excited, I'm doing it, dude. We're literally doing. You call me, John? Yeah, I'm about to leave. Leaving out? Yeah. I'm gonna right. say bye. You Take care, man. Was I was you. earlier. Good luck with everything. Okay. Yeah, you too. I love you. Well, Take care, man. All right. You're so my regards to. Yeah. To your dad, your brothers, your mom. Yeah. Adam, take care. Yeah. It's you a too. great fucking year. Yeah. Alright. Take care, man. I know I know this uh, this one I think is more new. More known, man. But I don't know, like it's it's kinda hard to It's kinda hard to play though. Tragic about you, something so magic about you. Don't you agree? 